Hello, New Life Church family, friends. It's good to see you. Happy Monday morning. It's the 21st of December. That means we're like four days away from Christmas. It's hard to believe that that's true, but uh, December is just flying by. Well, listen, thanks for jumping back in this week. I'll be sharing these uh, daily devotions all the way through Christmas morning. So even on Christmas morning, uh, I'll uh, present this so you can look it up on uh, Facebook, or you can go to our website, www.elcajonnewlife.com. You can go to watch and Pastor Dave's blog, and you can find it there. Plus, on the watch, you can find our services as well And if you missed uh, Sunday service. Anyway, hey, that the hymn for today, the carol for today that we're looking at is Little Drummer Boy. Love this one, right? Come, they told me, pa rum pa pum pum a newborn king to see, pa rum pa pum pum So, that's the uh, that's the carol for today, and so we I want to talk a little bit about that and just kind of remind us of the story of the little drummer boy. So with that, um, before we do that though, let me read a scripture. It's out of the Message version. It's Romans twelve verse one. It says this. So here's what I want you to do. God helping you, take your everyday ordinary life, your sleeping, eating, going to work, walking around life. And place it before God as an offering. Embracing what God does for you is the best thing you can do for him. Isn't that good? I love that version of message version. Well, let me tell you a little, remind you probably a little story about little drummer boy. The night was silent except for the beating of his heart. It seemed so loud to him. He wondered if his traveling companions could hear it too. He was nervous to see the king, but he kept walking, holding tightly to his drum. His heart was about to beat out of his chest, and the others were carrying beautiful boxes filled with precious gifts, gifts worthy of a king. He had nothing but his drum, which suddenly seemed to an inappropriate instrument to play for a king, not to mention a newborn baby king. If only he had more soothing instrument, like a harp or a shepherd's uh, harp, the shepherd's boy sometimes play. Well, his heartbeat was deafening as he stood before the king. Then Mary nodded, and the king's mother nodded at him. He actually wanted him to play, so he raised his sticks and began to beat out the first pattern that came to his mind, the rhythm of his own beating heart. And so the little drummer boy gave his heart to God. He played his best. He gave his best. I wonder, how often do we feel our gifts are not enough? We compare ourselves to others, wondering why our gifts seem so much more useful for the kingdom or somebody else's gifts more useful for the kingdom than our own. We want to maybe teach like our favorite pastor or or sing like our favorite worship leader. Or maybe we want to share our blessings, but at times we just don't feel very blessed. We can't give what we don't have. But rather than lamenting our, our lack, we need to look for our drum. What's your drum? What's the only thing that you can give? Maybe that no one else can give. The truth is God already has teaching like your favorite pastor. He already has singing like your favorite worship leader. What he wants and what he really can use is your heart. He could use you, your gifts, what what God has perfectly wired you to give and offer. So during this week, as we lead into Christmas, we head towards the new year. Think of ways that you can bless others. You don't have to spend money. You you just have to give of yourself, your own heart, your gifts, just like the little drummer boy. And I love how the song says, and Jesus smiled at him. Kind of thinks, as you, it makes me think, as you give your gift to God. Can you just picture in your mind's eye? Jesus smiling at you kind of makes your heart race. Can you hear the beat of that drum? Can you hear the beat of your heart? Because that's what Jesus wants you to give. He says, just give me your heart. I want to use that. Lord Jesus, today, as we enter into this week of Christmas, during this Advent season, may we anticipate your coming as it's as a baby in the manger, but God also may we offer our lives and the very simple gifts, profound gifts that you have given us 
and use it to be a blessing to make a difference in this world. And may every person hearing this right now know that you indeed are smiling at them. You are well pleased. Bless them, I pray in your name. Amen. Thanks for being with me today. Five minutes with Pastor Dave. I look forward to being with you again tomorrow. God bless you. Have a good day.